I'm not Nicole Cameron. I'm Danielle Nicole Perry. Um, I had to fight her to talk about these girls today. <laughs> um, this is, I'm new to the coaching game. This is my second year coaching, my first year of varsity. Um, and man, I, I mean, one of the coaches mentioned how much you learn for the kids. Like, let me tell you, you learn so much from these kids. Um, the patience, communication, even though some of them have been on the field, um, just being there for me. Um, that's really inspired us as coaches. Um, but just a little background on these girls. I'm going to start with Jasmine here. Uh, she started playing softball <clears throat> a little later off in age, but she is fabulous at it. Um, she's our center fielder, but if we need a shortstop, catcher, pitcher, she'd be there. She's always the first one to volunteer and learn something new. Um, I appreciate that. It's awesome. Um, she's extremely get dedicated and hardworking. Um, Again, I'm going to mention motivator because that's exactly what she is. Um, she's also a great leader for our team. And being as young as she is, that is pretty impressive. We have seniors on the team, you know, sometimes they're shy, they don't want to step up. But time and time again, here comes this little junior. And even I know the year before, she was a, a good motivator and support system for the team. Um, so thank you again for that. Um, and this one right here, Miss Miranda. Um, she's been playing softball for a while. She plays here at the school. She's played for rec team. She's done travel ball. This girl's done it all. Um, not only in playing, she's helped coach um, younger kids. And not only that, she's coached our team. Um, sometimes as a coach, um, I know for me it's time to like step back and have to observe. You know, how do the girls interact with each other? Are they listening? Who are they listening to? And this kid right here, always the motivator too, just like this one. But. Um, She's, like I said, she's, she steps up, she speaks. Um, <laughs> speaks words of wisdom, kindness. I mean, don't get me started, she just speaks it. She's always talking to me. Uh, but yeah, these girls, they're awesome. Um, she's also our closing pitcher, and she closes out the games, let me tell you. We need a strikeout, put her in there, she's got it. We need a hit, put her up to bat, there she is. We need a run. She's on first, everyone's getting out. She'll steal every base and we'll get that home run. Or the, the, excuse me. Um, she plays shortstop for us. She's a starter. She's amazing at it. Um, she gets on herself. Uh, I don't know how to say. She beats herself up a lot on errors and stuff, but I think that's just that type of player she is. She wants to do her best all the time. She wants to compete, she wants to win. And um, I have to give them a little credit to both of these girls because but he'll come a long way. I think this year in the softball program had a lot of upsets, and um, I think it's just the beginning for our team, but the girls are awesome. It's a pleasure and an honor to be your coach. Um, thank you again, like everyone else is saying, Hodels. We appreciate you guys for having us here year and year in. Um, and then, John, thank you for taking the time to honor our athletes. Um, they deserve it, they work hard for it. And yeah, I'll let these guys say a little something. I just want to start off by thanking the Johnny Club. <laughs> um, my parents, my coaches, everybody that supports me at my game, Jazz's mom. <laughs> um, yeah, I wouldn't be the softball player I am today without any of you guys. So, thank you. for giving me the opportunity to be here today. I'd also like to thank my coaches, my trainer, and um, the athletic administration, and um, Brad Cole for putting it all together. Um, and of course, my parents for the unconditional support and love. I don't know what kind of player or person I would be without my mother's tremendous support. Um, I would like to give a special thank you to the, my high school softball coach, Ms. Cameron. Not only has she taught me how to be a hardworking and positive athlete, but she has taught me how to be a better daughter, sister, teammate, and friend, a better me. And to my um, travel ball coach, Eric Cantu, for teaching me everything I know and never giving up on me. Um, I would like to um, congratulate all of the other athletes here today. Um, people may think you're crazy for the 6 a.m. workouts or staying after hours to put an extra work, but we all know that those are the times that separate good from great. Hard work definitely pays off. Yeah. Okay.